Hello out there tubers and once again thank you for coming to the channel and watching our videos. Uh, today my brother is going to be uh, opening up a few packs of uh, or booster packs rather of uh, Magic the Gathering uh, Kaladesh. Um, anyway I'm going to uh, turn over to him here just shortly but just wanted to uh, thank you guys for uh, finding the channel, liking the channel, so hopefully subscribing to the channel. We are going to start trying to do a regular uh, streaming. I don't know if it'll always be on a Friday night, but uh, we are going to start trying to stream more um, just magic, little magic tournaments. Uh, we're going to start trying to maybe bring in, rather than just family, we maybe try to bring in some uh, friends of ours as well. And uh, anyway, just kind of share our fun with you guys as well. So anyway, um, without any further ado, uh, I'm going to turn it over to my brother. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Um, welcome all. Um, I bought a few booster packs um, just to kind of uh, enhance my deck a little more. Uh, currently I'm running a red and white uh, soldier deck and I've got a couple of vehicles in it. I don't really consider it a vehicle deck. I really just like uh, getting the soldiers out there and, and doing my damage. Uh, so I thought I'd get a few booster packs to see if I could do anything to enhance it or for future decks I have in mind. Uh, so, with further ado, let's get started. I'm not, I was a little hesitant really with Kaladesh because I'm not big on the energy uh, theme. I know that it is got its perks, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just not a big buyer into the energy thing. So, um, I'm not really going to go through all the common cards. I'm just going to skip back to the rare. Uh, are uncommon and rares. Um, so we got shrewd negotiation. Uh, lighting's a little, that's a little bit better. You have to bear with me a little bit. This is kind of new to me. Um, anyhow, that's a blue sorcery spell. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. Uh, and I'm not even running blue. Uh, we got an oval chase dragster, uh, trusty companion. Um, for our rare, we got a um, territorial gorger. Um, that's part of that energy stuff. Like I said, I'm not real big on that, but maybe it, maybe it'll grow on me. Uh, and then I've got a uh, full rare. It's a skyship stalker. It's a four drop dragon. Um, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, I don't know really anything about it. Like I said, I'm not, I haven't gotten in. I got a divine bane emblem. Maybe that's a, uh, maybe that's a hint to maybe what I'll get. I hope that'd be nice. So we'll move on to the next one. And like I said, I'm not really going to focus on some of the uh, common so much, although I know some of the best cards are common. I have learned that. Um, so we got the wood uh, weapon craft enthusiast. We've got the armor craft judge. We have the visionary augmenter. And for the rare, we've got a Demon of Dark Schemes. Uh, it is a six drop flying. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, all creatures get a negative two, two till the end of turn. That's uh, that's a massive damage. It could be. Uh, anyhow, it's not bad. Not bad. Go on to the next one. I'm really interested about this Skyship Stalker. That's uh, me running red. That might help me out with flying because I really don't have any flyers. Okay. That's not too far. Anyhow, here's um, Aerial Responder. Make Obsolete. Servo Expedition. 
Wildest Dreams. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, return X cards, target cards from your graveyard to your hands while, or and then then exile the Wildest Dreams. That's that's really a pretty good card. Uh, that's not bad at all. What's and the man on that? It is a it's a green, and then you pay X where X is the amount of cards that you return to your hand. So you pay one green mana. And then whatever other mana. Try and get this where the. Yeah. This is everything's a little backwards, so I'm not no guys, I'm not drunk. Uh, wildest dream. You see the one green mana or broccoli, they, everybody says. But anyhow, and then you pay whatever X. X is the other mana that you decide to pay, and that's the amount of cards that you return from your graveyard to your hand, and then you exile this. That's that's a pretty bad card in my opinion. Anytime you can go into your graveyard and return cards, because it's not specific. It doesn't say what cards. It just says cards. So that that op that broadens it up quite a bit. Uh, and then we've got another full uh, fabrication module. Uh, it's an artifact. Whenever you get one or more uh, energies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature you control. Now that could go right into my deck. Although I don't get no energy, that's the problem. I'm not. I'm not about about that. But anyhow, that's a pretty cool card, though, as a full. I didn't show that one really good, but you can. It's pretty cool. It's I like it. That's the second land you've got. Go on to the next one. And another one. I didn't crack your book. <sighs> I hope I'm not. Uh, going too fast on some of this stuff. I'm not, you know, the common stuff is, like I said, I know there's some good cards in there because I run most of the stuff. I run common. I ain't nowhere near a professional, but I do enjoy playing. Uh, the first one is deck, I, de, decoc, decoction, yeah, decoction module. Uh, that's to deal with energy. Uh, like I said, I'm not about that yet. I don't know that I will. Um, a morbid Curiosity, Genjit Sentry, Captured by the Council. Now, I know this is something that is being used some. Um, it, this here, you can uh, enchant a creature and it can't, it can't attack. Uh, and whenever an opponent casts a spell, if it's a single target, change the target to enchanted creature if able. That's that's pretty neat. And I got another full, the Eagle Construct. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I got a little uh, Thopter token. You never have too many Thopters. Never too many Thopters or Servos. I don't have any of them. I, like I said, I've been I've been running red and white. I know that red and white was really big with the uh, vehicles uh, when that, when when Kaladesh come out. I didn't run none. I've got a few in there, but I've just run into soldiers. And uh, from what I'm getting, uh, I'm mean, I don't have any any research I've done online. Nobody's really running it. Uh, I don't. I'm not saying that that's a good or a bad thing, but I'm having a lot of good luck with it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's see. I almost went too far. Okay. And we've got the Skywells, Skyweller shot. Uh, destroy yeah, target creature with power three or greater and scry one. That's that's good. Yeah. You're, you're destroying a creature. I mean that that takes care of uh, the smuggler's copter. Yeah. Um, and you're getting to scry. So that's that's a two for one as far as I'm concerned. I've got one of those I have in my deck, and they're nice. Yes, anytime you can look ahead of what you're going to be drawing, because that, that's an instant, too. So, uh, and Then we got the Bomit Bizarre Barge. Uh, you get to draw a card. It's a 5-5 five, five crew of three. That's not bad. Like I said, I'm not all about, you know, I like the, I like the Smuggler's Copter because it does allow you to draw, so that's one of them I have in my deck. Fairgrounds Tempeter. Angel of Invention. Um, yeah, this one will probably end up in my deck just because I am running um, Murloc. Um, 
uh, I had a lot of uh, misunderstanding about him, but uh, any creatures you have on the battlefield and in the combat stage, they get that uh, anytime they have flying vigilance like this one does. I'm getting it over there, guys. I promise. I'm trying. Uh, Y'all can kind of see it. That's flying vigilance and lifelink. It's a five drop. Uh, and other creatures you can, you control get a one one. Um, it has fabricate two, where you can put servos or you can put counters on the creature. So this in here's got a lot of a lot of bang for five mana. Yeah, it is a lot, but. Like I said, with my other cards I've got, this and I think will fit in there quite well. It's a Ulrich Merlot. Um, what do you know? Your favorite. All right. It's a Serbi. Anyhow, I know who I'll give that to. It ain't going to be me. <laughs> Last pack, maybe we'll get, uh, you never know. I'd love to get another Chandra. Without a doubt, but I love to get a Chandra. Who would he? You didn't get one. I uh, got another angel here, Wisp Weaver Angel. Uh, she's a six drop with flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile another target creature you control. Then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Hmm, I could use that. Um, and I could see where that'd be good for energy decks. Um, as a way of bouncing, um, but I've got a few cards in there that, that do things by giving counters um, that could really change the game uh, for me. So that, that one might, I don't know, it's kind of large though. I got snare thopters, they're kind of cool. Uh, Maleficent Doorbuster, um, that's about energy. I, I got it. I got it. I, 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 um, then my rare is the, I, sorry guys, I can't even pronounce it, Hyrapur Aurora. Each player may play an additional land on each of his turns, and at the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in his hands, then that player draws three cards. Yeah, I've got, so uh, I, I've got I, one of those. I don't know that. I mean, I got a fast deck, so it might be something that might be beneficial. Um, I don't know. I, per or the only problem I have with it is it's helping my opponent. I don't want to help my opponent. So, anyhow, uh, that's oh. Servo. Anyhow, um, so for the most part, I don't really know exactly, you know, anything major that I got besides this uh, stalker. Uh, like I said, I want to I want to do a little research on that. That might be a, a pretty good card uh, for my deck in that angel. Uh, but anyhow, um, that's all I've got. I appreciate it. I hope you watch. Uh, please share. Uh, pass it on to anybody. Uh, send any comments, questions that you might have. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for uh, my deck that I'm running, uh, please be happy to send it. I'd love to look at it. Thanks, guys.